Please don't let me forget milk and bread. Please don't let me forget milk and bread. And by the way, I'm saving the best for last, which is the coffee creamers, of course. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am sharing another grocery haul with you, but we are going to be doing a grocery shop with me where we go into one of my local grocery stores and find all of the new finds. I have not been to a Bilo and actually shopped in forever. So I live in South Carolina and I know they have Bilo's in North Carolina and I know they also have Super Bilo's. This is just a regular Bilo. But let me know down in the comments below if you have Bilo's where you live and let me know what state you're in. But I'm excited because I came in here last week and I found a couple of good things. But I was just running in here for one thing and I didn't get to film. So I decided I would film in here today, show you guys all the new finds. But first, I had to grab my coffee. I grabbed this coffee from a local coffee shop that a lot of my local friends have recommended. And usually I get a blueberry crisp latte from Dunkin' Donuts. So today I just got a iced latte add blueberry and caramel it's good it's not dunking good but it is good and i do like it so we are going to head into Bilo. hopefully we find all the new things i do have to grab bread and milk because if you watched my last grocery haul you know it wasn't an actual grocery haul that will be coming sunday and we're almost out of everything but i can't go without milk and bread any longer so i'm just going to go ahead and grab that while i'm in here and if i see anything new I'll grab that as well. So we'll have a haul at the end. So stay tuned and let's see what we can find. So the first thing I see when I walk in are these pieces of cake. They are so pretty. Obviously I don't need these, but I just thought I would show them. Also, it's raining today and I broke my umbrella while we were outside or while I was outside. And the music's out in here. So hopefully everything's okay as far as YouTube goes, if you know what I mean. So I found this new cereal. Well, I guess it's new. I've never seen it before. It's Star Wars, I guess, like Lucky Charms. And the good thing about Bilo is they always have buy one, get one free deals. So while it is $3.99, it's buy one, get one free. So really it's only $2 a box. Wow, look at these muffins. They have Reese filled muffins and they also have Hershey's gourmet filled muffins. And in this Bilo, they have like a deli and pizza place where you can get like subs and stuff like that. Kind of like a lot of grocery stores have. And I like how they have these little dipping sauces. These look really good too. I've never tried any of these. I'm not a huge fan of Fruit Punch, but Raspberry Lemonade sounds really good. You guys know I don't like tea, but we've got lemonade and then I've got even the individual ones over here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I rave about these can coolers all of the time. These things are the best. If you don't have one, you definitely need to get one. I will link one below that you can look at, but they keep your drinks cold forever, like five hours. I'm not even joking. And totally unfood related again. And if I find anything new, I will show you even if it's not food related, but I thought these were pretty neat. These little sports sticks for kids. SPF 50. Also, I know Arizona green tea is really popular, but the Arizona Mucho Mango is one I have not seen before. So they have this whole section of drinks over here. A lot of you have told me that the Bolt House Farm drinks are really, really good. I've never tried any of them. They even have this one right here. It looks like it's a coffee flavor, strawberry banana, and then they have more down here chocolate one so these vitamin waters actually have a different word on each one like revive focus power c refresh and energy which i think is really neat i miss these over here this mocha cappuccino drink looks delicious also i know these coca-cola energy drinks are fairly new they have the zero sugar cherry the zero sugar regular and then just the regular coca-cola let me know if you've tried these I'm not a fan of energy drinks. So there's a guy back there in the back that saw me filming and I looked back and he was staring and he like cut his eyes real quick. I thought it was funny. I'm so excited that on this side of the store or this store, the drinks are on this side, which is the side I usually start shopping on because drinks are like my favorite. Y'all know that. 
So Alex used to drink the body armor drinks. He liked them, but they weren't like his favorite. There's a couple flavors I haven't seen before, but look at this over here. I've seen muscle milk before, but I've never seen the banana cream. So I don't know if any of you have ever tried this brand in protein bars or nutrition bars, but they are so good. They make them in kid versions that they sell at Target and my girls love them. And this one looks delicious. So I think these are fairly new, correct me if I'm wrong, but Powerade Power Water. They have berry cherry, cucumber lime, and tropical mango. And then these Propel Vitamin Boost drinks. I have never actually even seen these before. So I've been seeing these sparkling juices everywhere. They're kind of like wine, but I think they're so cute. I think I might grab the girls one. The strawberry daiquiri looks so good and they would think they were so cool. They even have a sangria one. So I'm gonna go with the strawberry daiquiri, but this says it is limited edition. But this one is super cute too, just because of the bottle. Sparkling Rosé Grape Juice Cocktail Non-Alcoholic. I just love the bottle of this, so. So apparently these are new. I normally would not know that because I don't usually pick out this kind of cereal, but they also have Apple Caramel Crunch, which looks really good as well. And they have the limited edition Rice Krispies with red and blue Krispies in them. Super cute. Here are the birthday cake Rice Krispie treats that you guys told me to try. I don't think I ever gave you guys an update. They were not my favorite, too sweet, but the girls demolished them. And if you wanna make whipped coffee, this is the instant coffee that I use. And the limited edition Pop-Tarts are back, red, white, and blueberry. I love how they have these little creamer singles to go. Also, I have never seen the York Peppermint Hot Chocolate. So these are pretty neat. They're little packets where you can make frappes at home. They have cinnamon swirl, vanilla cream, salty caramel, mint chocolate truffle, and they also have chocolate espresso. Look at the little mini bags of cereal. I've seen the little bowls, but I've never seen the little bags like this. Please don't let me forget milk and bread. Please don't let me forget milk and bread. Okay, these are new. They're energy pack mixes. They have barbecue flavored and ranch. And I love sunflower seeds. I have had the dill pickle, but I've never seen the zesty ranch. Okay, another new find, Nutty Snack Mix by Planters. They have barbecue chili. That's all I've seen so far. Wow, look at all the SpongeBob Pop-Tarts and the Nutri-Grain Bars. My girls love Nutri-Grain Bars, especially the strawberry. They even have cereal, SpongeBob cereal. How can I turn this down? Oh my goodness. What do y'all think? Do you think I should get some? Apparently the reasoning for all the SpongeBob stuff is SpongeBob just came out with a movie. I did not know that, so that's why. Okay, I've had these before, the stuffed marshmallows. They're stuffed with real chocolate. Not my favorite, but look at all the cotton candy. I feel like I'm at the fair, I mean. Hello, this looks just like the kind you would get there. I feel like these have been out a little while and I forgot about them, but somebody sent me a picture of them on Instagram the other day and now I wanna try them. That's interesting, Swedish Fish Mini Crush Fruit Mix. They also have this entire huge bag of red, white, and blue Sour Patch Kids. Okay, so apparently these are new. They are Red Hot Thick Sauces by Frank's. And I think that I want to try this one. I'm not going to, but I'm going to ask Alex what he thinks. Maybe I'll send him a picture. These sauces are also apparently new. Creamy bourbon barbecue, roasted garlic, and cilantro lime. And what about these new sauces? Spicy cilantro, chipotle lime. They look so good. This is apparently new too, but I know a lot of other brands make something like this and it pretty much tastes like Big Mac sauce. And anyone that knows me knows that I despise mayonnaise, but I figured all you mayonnaise lovers, here you go. They've got some creamy mayonnaise for you. Also, that looks really interesting. Country Bob's all-purpose sauce, steak, chicken, and fries. I'm not sure if I showed these in a video or if me and Alex seen these in the store over the last week, but I figured I would show them just in case. I really wanna try the Alabama-style white barbecue. I just don't know what I would use it for. 
and they have these new pickle munchies. I think I've seen them before, but not sure I've showed them in a video. So I figured I would show them on here. I bet they're really good. Starburst Jello. Okay, these little snack cups are really good. They've got peach strawberry lemonade, pearberry pomegranate, and sour apple watermelon. And these are all new. And I have yet to find the bread in this place. Like, where's the bread aisle? So, I showed these in a video, a Walmart shot with me video, I think. And they are good, but I only ate one as usual. So, I think I'm going to give them to my sister because apparently my girls are not going to eat them. Yes, I found the bread aisle and it's on the same aisle as the wine. So, you know what that means. What do you know? They have one pack of bread left that's Alex's favorite. Good until June 1st. $2.99. Joy. Joy. I'd rather buy this $1.59 bread over here. That is one huge jug of sangria. What about this super coffee? Has anybody tried it? They have mocha, hazelnut, vanilla, and original. Okay, so if you missed my video where I was talking about how to make the best pina colada in the world, this is exactly what you need. I already have some of this at home, but Use this, not the mix, this. It's a life changer. And some pineapple juice and some rum. I like banana rum, some ice, and you're good to go. Okay, I'm not sure if this is new because there's a new tag up there, but it's not on this, but I've never seen this Clorox colors before. It's like a stain remover, I guess, kind of like Shout. But they also have this as well. This is for all of my lovely, lovely White Claw loving friends. Try the strawberry. And by the way, I'm saving the best for last, which is the coffee creamers, of course. I guess this is a Balo brand item, but Maui onion potato chips. Has anyone ever tried any of the Taco Bell chips? I'm really curious and I kind of want to try some of them. Ooh, look at this popcorn. This is a store brand as well, I guess. Caramel, and then they have Chicago style down there, which whatever that means, says smooth, buttery caramel and rich cheddar cheese popcorn paired together for an enticing combination. Uh-oh, there you go. Bud Light lemonade and lime. I just love all these old school drinks. What about y'all? I wanna get all of them, but I'm gonna get none of them probably. I mean, I really might get these. These look really good. You guys, I've never seen these Dutch apple pie, peanut butter, cream pie, key lime pie, banana cream pie, chocolate satin pie, cookie dough cream pie, what? Coconut cream pie. So this is pretty neat. They have these new Tyson air fried chicken breast strips, chicken breast fillets, and then at the top they have some chicken nuggets. Okay, I lied. Coffee creamers will be almost last, but not last, because I am going to show you some of the ice creams. I think they have some new ice creams here as well. So, I have never seen this medium roast cold brew black coffee. Interesting. Let me know if you've tried it. They have all types of different soy and almond milk here. A lot more to choose from than Walmart. Look at this one. Real bananas. That looks delicious. Oh wait guys, remember I need milk. Maybe I'll grab some. Okay, this is like Coffee Creamer Central over here. They have like everything you can think of. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like I haven't been able to find that anywhere. Like pretty much stocked up on everything. They do have the new Almond Joy. Not a fan of coconut, so I don't want to get that one, but they have a lot of different ones. Even peppermint mocha still, and then they have this cream brulee, which I've never tried, so I think I'm gonna grab it. I know a lot of you like this because you've mentioned it to me. I've never tried it. Also never tried this brand over here, Coffee Dream. And then I've never tried the original Irish cream, so maybe I will one day, not today. And they have all the whipped creams over here, and they even have Reese's whipped cream. I don't know that I've seen that before. I know I've seen the Hershey's, but not the Reese's. Also, I know these cakes have been out for years, but I've actually never seen the fudge drop one, so I don't know if that's new, but it looks good. And I've never seen the red velvet, although I do not like red velvet cake. 
this juice right here looks really good. Never tried it before. I don't know if it's new. Probably not, but it looks good. More juices and coffee. They do have my stoke coffee that I always get, but I think I have enough to last until probably Friday when I go to the grocery store, so I won't grab any. And then I just wanted to show you guys all this. I am tempted to get this one down here just because it's got banana in it. I love banana flavored anything but I had enough juice as it is at my house, so I'm not going to. Okay, do you guys remember the Bomb Pops? Well, now they make strawberry, raspberry, taffy, and chocolate caramel sundae Bomb Pops. So weird, yet so intriguing. So I'm pretty sure I've showed these in a Walmart video before, the loaded cones. Never tried them, but they have brownie bomb and bunny tracks. They are new. I have tried the strawberry shortcake and they are delicious, but they've been out a little bit longer. So I'm assuming these are not new because they are the Bilo brand, but they have cookies and cream, ice cream sandwiches, and then look at these Klondike donuts, triple chocolate ice creams and double chocolate. Never seen those before. I've also never seen the mint chocolate or the dark chocolate, almost missed those, and almost missed the Heath and Crunch ones. What? You guys, and then I almost missed the Oreo and Boston cream. What in the world? I have been wanting to try these Choco Tacos forever. I'm not gonna buy them because they're $5 maybe one day, but I don't know. They look really good. I think it's just because it's a taco. If you've never tried these before, I highly recommend. If you have a Bojangles in your area, they taste just like the Bowberry Biscuits. And then they also have chocolate chip in these too, but I don't see them here. And then look what I found. They did have these last year and they were so good and I have not been able to find them anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. Also, I've never seen the Red's Hard Apple Strawberry. I bet those are delicious. I don't know if these are new or not. I've never tried the Hard Strawberry Lemonade, but I will tell you that the Pineapple Mandarin Lemonade is my absolute favorite ever. You guys have to try these. They come out during the summertime and the springtime and they are so good. Okay, so I am out of Vilo and done. I found lots of good things in there. I'm gonna show you a haul when I get home. I also wanna tell you a funny story really quick. I brought my umbrella with me because it's been raining pretty much all week and I knew it was supposed to rain all day. As soon as I got out of the car here, I broke my umbrella. Well, actually I opened my umbrella and instead of it going out like a normal umbrella, it goes inside out and it breaks completely. And if you hear the rain right now, it looks like I got in my car just in time. So let's head home so I can show you this haul. Okay, we are home now. I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul. Like I said, I just went in for bread and milk and guess what, I did not forget it. Milk is a little bit more expensive at that store than Walmart, but it is what it is. And then I picked up these cookies that are limited edition. I haven't been able to find them anywhere and I really liked them last year, so I grabbed those. Also grabbed this, it's just like a sparkling juice, but it's kind of, I don't know, it seems like it's kind of like a wine and it's fun for the kids. And back in the day, we used to have stuff like this and we would put them in a wine glass and we would call it our Chablis. So funny, I know, but true story. And then the only creamer that I actually got today was this cream brulee. And I have never tried that before, so I'm excited about that. And then I did go in this store last week, but I didn't film. And I found a bunch of new creamers that I've never tried before. But the ones that I have not opened yet, I thought I would show you. I try not to open them because once you open them, they go bad after about two weeks. So... I got the white chocolate raspberry and I asked on Instagram if this was good because a lot of you have tried it before and either people said it was absolutely delicious or absolutely disgusting. There was no in between. And then mocha mudslide is one that I have never seen before. I have not tried it still. A lot of people have been asking what it tastes like. I just don't want to open it until I know that I'm going to drink it because like I said, it will go bad. And then Cinnamon Toast Crunch is probably my all-time favorite creamer. It used to be the Peeps Creamer, and then I discovered Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, I love it. I hope they never go away with it. And then I haven't found the birthday cake 
creamer in a while. The Funfetti is so easy to find around here, but the birthday cake is not. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. And like I said, those four I got last week, but I have not opened yet. And then I found the cream brulee, which I've never had before. So I went ahead and grabbed it. But I'm excited about those. Judge if you please. I'm excited regardless. So I took off my glasses because there was a glare in the screen. It didn't matter where I moved. So I went ahead and took off my glasses. But this is not a normal grocery haul, as you know. This is just one of the grocery hauls where I go into a new store and I find all of the new things to show you guys. And I also did not have a normal grocery haul up on my channel on Sunday. I had just a random grocery haul because we were doing something for Ansley's birthday party. So when I go to the grocery store this weekend for Sunday's haul that will be up probably around 4 or 5, it's probably going to be a big haul because we haven't gone grocery shopping in two weeks. So, I'm excited. I love big grocery hauls, so be ready for that. Be on the lookout, and then I'll also announce the winner of the last grocery haul. Guess my total, and then you'll be able to guess that total on Sunday as well. If you are new to my channel, I do all kinds of shot with me videos, a lot of grocery, a lot of fashion, a lot of Walmart, and I need to get back in Target and do more of those. So if you like that type of thing, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. You can also follow me over on Instagram where I also share a lot of similar things, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!